Wow! <laughs> Hello, <laughs> and welcome to another of Mitch and Tom's Pokemon X and Y speculation. But I wrote Tom and Mitch! <laughs> okay, Tom and Mitch, <laughs> Mitch's, you know what I mean. Anyway, so it's been a week since um, Pokemon X and Y have been announced, and uh, we've learnt a couple of new things since the last video we did. So, uh, would you like to start off, Mitch, with the starter typings? Well, it has been announced by Pokemon that the, the basic stage, Chespin, Fennekin, and Froki are all pure type grass, fire, and water. Was that what you were expecting, or...? Well, yeah, in all honesty, I wasn't expecting there to be a dual type, because there's only one dual type basic starter, and that's Bulbasaur. Yeah, yeah. And regardless if they're pure type, it doesn't stop their, uh, you know, evolutions from being dual types because that means, you know, every other Charibad, starter, um, Venusaur, you know, Blaziken, Swampert, Torterra, Infinite, Empoleon, and Embor are obviously not dual types at all. I probably wouldn't have said Venusaur in that list, by the way. Venusaur's dual type. Yeah, but so is Bulbasaur. Yeah, but you've already evolves, told me evolves, that, evolves. you know, Gloom loses its poison when it evolves oh, yeah. the lost, okay. so... Okay, I get you, I get you what you're trying to say there. Yeah. So, yeah. um... Eevee loses its normal type when it evolves. Nah. Has, uh... <laughs> have, uh... We talked about what we thought the starters would be, what their final typings would be, right, last video, didn't we? Absolutely. We said that there might be a dual type triangle in this. That obviously there's the grass, fire, water, but we also thought that in the end, the secondary types are going to be dark, psychic, and fighting, respectively. So it creates another type triangle within another type triangle. Type so that if the other starter can hit the other starter that it's not meant to be good against, was super effective anyway. Yeah. Um. Has anything changed in that, or do you still think the same, or...? I honestly still think the same, because, you know, if that video showed us anything, it shows some of the attacks that they might use. Obviously, we see Chespin using Solar Beam and what looks like Night Slash or something. Then we see Fennekin using, I guess, Ember or Flamethrower. I guess it's Flamethrower. Chespin's using, you know, Solar Beam, so, you know, Fennekin's using Flamethrower followed by what looks like maybe confusion. Yeah. And then um, Froakie looks like it's obviously looks like it's using a hydro pump or water gun. And but you know it's originally I it's gonna be normal. I'm not sure about its last attack because you know for all we know it could be you know not bullet punch, what if it's water steel? Yeah, it could be anything. It could be quick attack, mark punch, you know, anything. Oh it's just kinda of like flying around that patch rat. Yeah, you can tell it's going fast, but... So it's likely to be a priority move, at least. Yeah. Or something but that th hits maybe multiple times. But there's only two fighting priority moves, and that's Mark Punch and Vacuum Wave. Yeah. I don't and know. It might be Mark Punch. It could possibly be Vacuum Wave, I mean... But I he's over there, so it's obviously a physical move. Oh yeah, good point. So I was about to say, since most water type moves are special, then, well yeah, it would help if he had Vacuum Punch, if he did turn out. Vacuum Punch? Sorry? He said Vacuum Punch. Yeah, Vacuum Punch. You mean Vacuum Wave? That's, yeah. You know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, do we have anything else on that, or do we have anything to expand on? Yeah, you know, not really. I can't really think of anything starter-wise. You know, it was given that there were going to be grass fire and grass fire and starter. Grass fire and water is what I was trying to say. But um, yeah, you know, secondary types are still open for speculation simply because we haven't seen them yet. What about the legendary typings? Well, you know, someone that I had read brought up like this neat little idea, which I think is cool, and I went with it and kind of thought on it. Um, 
he said, what if they do this t kind of type triangle thing with the legendaries? If we see, you know, Chespin as getting to a grass dark and Fennekin getting to fire psychic and Brokey getting to fire fight, uh, water fighting, that obviously we've got two type triangles there so that the grass starter is able to hit the fire with its secondary typing. Yeah. On. What if we see that with the legendaries? And you got to thinking, so, you know, it looks like uh, Xerneas looks like it might be part grass and Ibelto might be part flying. And if that's the case, what if it goes with grass fighting and flying dark? But after I'd read that, I kind of looked at it, you know, flying four times against Xerneas if it is grass fighting, but fighting can't hit um, Ibelto for a super effective attack because of the flying neutralizing the damage. Yeah. So I started looking at it and if it does, there are a couple of combinations that could have worked if we go with the fact that um, Evelto is definitely going to be flying and Xerneas is definitely going to be grass. Okay. Because the only three types that are good against flying are rock, electric and ice. Obviously, it, you know, Ivelto, not Ivelto, um, Xerneas doesn't look like he's a rock type, nor does he look like he's an ice type. So, you know, electric look like it. And then after I had pointed this out, you know, I was told that, you know, there is some speculation going around that Xerneas is part electric because in his scan from the Korokoros that was leaked, it just happens to be a lightning bolt next to his official artwork. Do you know what's next to Yvatol? Is there anything there, next to him? There's nothing next to Yvatol. Okay. Uh, yeah. um, so if he is grass electric, there's every chance that Evelto could be pure flying because flying hits grass for super effective and electric hits flying for super effective, but the flying is neutralized because of the electric typing of Xerneas, so therefore it wouldn't be super effective. Hmm. But if um, it works like this. The types that are strong against grass that electric doesn't neutralize are ice, poison, bug, and fire. Yep. So any of those can hit grass for super effective and electric can hit flying for super effective. So there's, there could, if, if this like kind of typing like circle works, then if Xerneas is grass electric, that means um, Ivelto could be ice flying, poison flying, fire flying, or bug flying. And ice and bug, I think, are out of the question. Mm. Because it looks like neither. Um, however, fire could work simply because I got to thinking, what if... Xerneas and Ivelto are based off an antibody and a virus. Inflammation, fire. So it could be based off that, and that might be why it looks a bit more demonic in its design, and Xerneas looks stronger because it's, you know, meant to protect what is there, and Ivelto is there to... Destroy. Screw him up. Yeah. yeah. So it might be fire flying, but it could also be poison flying because... If it is based off the whole vulture idea, then, um, you know, vultures carry diseases. They eat things with diseases. And um, that would also kind of work with the idea of a virus as mm -hmm. well. That it infects poison. Them. Yeah. Um, so that could, you know, I honestly think its typings will fall down to Grass Electric for Xerneas and maybe Poison Flying or Fire Flying for Ibelto. Okay. With, um, with the Legendaries, so Legendaries normally you know, fall at the end of the Pokedex bar Victini. Yeah. Save for Victini. Yeah. Um, well, Victini's up there with Arceus, so technically. Yeah, okay. But... What do you reckon the Pokedex will end up at in Gen 6? Since we already know that it's going to be over 700, like it's already been stated, what number do you reckon we'll be looking at? I'm, 
I'm thinking anywhere from 750 through the 800. Why did you say that? Well, there's only been one other generation that's given us that like that little amount of Pokemon, and that was Generation Two. That gave us only a hundred new Pokemon. Yep. Then Gen so Three gave us a hundred and thirty-three. Yep. And then I can't remember Gen Four. Gen Five gave us one hundred and fifty-six, I think. Which has been the most we've had so far. Mm -hmm. And I think maybe we might be getting about a hundred to one hundred and fifty. Uh, 101 to 151, if you want to get down to it because of bloody... Round numbers. Five ending, yeah, Gen 5 ending on 649. However, if you think about it, Gen 3 ended on 386. That is kind of frustrating. And yeah. Gen 4 ended at 493. Hmm. Um, so I reckon we might be seeing... Anywhere from 750 through to 800 altogether. Actually, just thinking about it, no generation has ended on a nice round number. What do you mean, like, say, well, Gen 1 was until Mew was announced. Yeah, 151, then 250. 251. 251 or 252? 251, because Celebi's 251. Oh, okay. And then, yeah, obviously, 386. And, and then 493, and now 649. Yeah. I bet you we're going to get, like, 748.2. Point 0.2. Two. That would be, like, yeah. two farms of something, I'm guessing. Oh, <laughs> actually, I was thinking about this while I was at work the other night. Mm -hmm. This is kind of off-topic, but QRAM. Yes. Do you reckon they'll carry over the two farms, or do you reckon they'll just keep them black and white too? I think yes. I think yes, they'll carry over the forms because you see the grey sedia in um, black, white, black two, and white two. Oh yeah, good point. So, and also you get the orbs from the shadow triad, which allows you to get origin form Giratina. Yeah, which must mean that there are more. Of you know, obviously there's more Grace Adia flowers, but there must be more than just one copy of each of the orbs. And but the Shadow Triad said that they, you know, gets us got them from somewhere. Oh, okay. Do they? Um, that in black and white they do. I'm not sure about white to uh, black to and white to. I haven't gone and looked. Oh, uh, the, you find them in the Dragon Spiral Tower. I'm pretty sure. That's right, then Dragon's Spiral Tower and Black 2 and White 2. Yeah, so I'm guessing there probably is more than... Yeah. Um, also, um, the DNA splices, I, I honestly think, are going to go over. Yeah, probably. Um, but I do think we might see a new form of QRAM. I don't know. Oh. Because, think about it, there's always been a use for all of the items put in games, regardless if they're, you know, available or not, like the Azure Flute and the Lock Capture. Yeah. Why should the Godstone be any different? See, X and Y are both chromosome kind of things, stuff to do with DNA, so I don't know, they could kind of throw a curveball and do something like that, you know, just as like an extra... That because would be kind of cool. Why can QRAM use, obviously, you know, it can use it because of the DNA splices, that QRAM can use the DNA from Zekrom or Reshiram to change its physical form into white QRAM or black QRAM. Hmm. However, why can't it use both at once? If it has access to both of those DNA, why can't it access both of the DNA to recreate itself as the final, like that original dragon? Yeah, that's a good point. Maybe they will because do something. That's what I think. I think maybe if the Godstone, you know, coincidentally is grey, kind of like Kiram, what if not in this generation but the next, Kiram gets its final form? Or even if we can summon it using the Godstone or something? Yeah. Maybe, but then like, it's more it like Final Fantasy. Yeah, maybe it can't change to the, you know, husk Kiram, but... Yeah. 
you know. that stays as that. Yeah, but it's still a form of Kiram. Uh, however, something else that came with Korokoro that I think is interesting is the fact that there is not just two Genesect. Yeah, there's five. That's a bit... Five. Four normal Genesect, each using a different drive, and then the shiny Genesect, which lends to the fact there's more than definitely more than one Genesect that... You know, Plasma like made. some other legends, pun. That Team Plasma made. Yeah, that Team Plasma made. All revived. Because remember, all of them were revived from fossils. And then, yeah, boosted up with the armor and stuff. And, uh, yeah. So. Could that mean that there's possibly more than one Mewtwo as well, then? But you see in the lab with Mewtwo, other Mewtwo's that were all destroyed. Oh, really? Yeah, because Mewtwo destroys the whole complex. Oh, okay. And coincidentally, Mewtwo is the only other Pokemon to feature in the show that links to the anime at that specific point, because when Ash returns to Brooding City for its final gym badge, the gym blows up, and all Ash sees is a shooting, like, yeah. something shooting out from the gym. But we've also been shown that Genesect is appearing in the anime that will link back to the movie. Just saying, I like how we. Hmm? I was just saying, I like how we started talking about X and Y, and now we've gone to talking about the anime. I know, but I remember we talked about Dunsparce the last video. Oh yeah, we'll we'll loop it back in a second. But yes, continue. Yep. Um, coincidentally, they're both Pokemon that were genetically altered by humans. And yeah, we'll feature in the anime as well as have their movies movie. Connected to the anime at that point, yeah. Yeah. So speaking of legends and everything, what are some other legendaries you might like to see, or other Pokemon as well? Legendaries, I'm not really sure. I do want to like, if it is this whole Norse thing, you know, Snake of Midgard and you know stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure I want to see, like, obviously in the past generation we had Pokemon based off the Three Musketeers, and they're obviously nothing legend, well, they are legendary, but, well, if, if we go with that, let's, I'm, I, I say we need a Sherlock and Watson legendary, do I? <laughs> that would actually be pretty cool. I don't know and how they would do it. Like... One will be called Cumberbatch, and the other one will be called Freeman. Why'd you say that? In the BBC's take of Sherlock, Benedict Cumberbatch plays Sherlock, and Martin Freeman plays Watson. Oh, okay. Isn't Martin oh, Freeman the guy who plays uh, Bilbo in The Hobbit? Yes, he is. And in one of the episodes of Sherlock, you see uh, Martin Freeman put up his legs, and his legs are shaved. And because of that's because in when they were filming The Hobbit... They got him to shave his legs to put on his feet for the Hobbit hair. We're not even talking about Pokemon anymore. We're talking about the Hobbit. <laughs> <laughs> we just completely got sidetracked. Okay, <laughs> let's, let's go back. No, you got sidetracked. Sorry, sorry. You get sidetracked. You'll be adventuring somewhere and be like, oh, what's this over here? And just completely move away from what uh, you're meant to be doing. That's pretty much just Skyrim, isn't it? No, no, need to be focused on Pokemans. This video is about <laughs> Pokemans. So, okay, um, well, I'm still Pokemon. Okay, so we don't know what legendaries we'd like to see, except for Sherlock Holmes and Watson. What about just general Pokemon? Like, maybe Evolution? Evolution, Peter. See, I would l like, like I was talking to you the other day about, I would like to see some, um, some Hoenn evolutions. So then that would make more sense to now do a Ruby and Sapphire remake. But I'll let you speak about that since it was mostly your idea. Well, actually I was just starting to think, have we ever seen an evolution for a third generation Pokemon? Um Rose oh, Raid. Galad and Rose Raid. Yeah. And Oh that's it. Um Budgie, I guess. Buju, I that's a, yeah, it's a pre-evolution. Um, I'm a bit hesitant on them. I kind of hope they don't do that again. That's a bit dodgy in my books, I guess. 
What, pre-evolution and evolution in the same gen? Yeah, to a one evolution line in the last yeah. one. That just um, seems a bit strange. I'd like to see a baby evolution for Heracross and Pinsa. Why Heracross and Pinsa? I feel like they're ridiculously related and they need a baby, kind of like Tyrog with the Hitmon. But that's like you could you could kind of say um if you've got something like since Tauros can only be male and Miltank can only be female, you could essentially do a calf and then depending on whatever evolution it has, uh at whatever gender it has. Sorry, it's it's nearly four o'clock in the morning here. Whatever, <laughs> um yeah, whatever gender it has, it could then evolve into either the one. The same with um Bobby and Ilumiso. Yeah. Sorry, how did... what? what Ilumise. 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 Is that how you say it? Yeah, that's how you say it. Ratata. 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 That's how you used to say it, but now you've decided to say it the way I say it before I knew how to say it. <laughs> Trolling Tom. Well, I, I think that could be a Radicate evolution. Why Radicate? That seems a bit... Random, I know. Yeah. Dunsparce. Dunsparce needs yes, evolution. Yes, there needs to be an evolution for Dunsparce. Part dragon, normal dragon. Oh my gosh, that would be awesome. I'm still waiting for a grass dragon type. Come on, four times a week to oh my... ice. That would be painful. Something like Tropius. Tropius goes from grass line to grass dragon? Oh my yeah. gosh, that's amazing. It still keeps, it's like four times weakness to, yeah. Ice and everything. I, I like that idea, maybe Tropius, but um, back on hand, I want to see a Sharpedo evolution off a Basking Shark. That was creepy when you showed me that picture. I'm sorry. No, you looked it up. I told you to look it up. I'm going to put it in the video for anyone who doesn't know what a Bask Shark was. Basking like, Shark? Basking Shark, yeah. Yeah, I'll put Just one in. Flash it up. Yeah. They Just will haunt your nightmares. Yes, nightmares and so. Um, but the reason I say that is because if we do see the region being based off like the Europe, like Eurasia, yeah, Eurasia, Europe, Asia, yeah, the Eurasia area, then you know if we surf over to England, like I home, said last week, home, and... home, yes, um, basking sharks kind of just surround England, so maybe we might see a like, you know, I always thought that maybe Sharpedo might fight Waylord, but yeah. Sharpedo's tiny compared to Waylord. I want to see something rivaling Waylord in size. Well, it's like that fake one you did, the Megalodon. Yeah, I, uh, Megalodon. I, I hate it. I, I, am, I made that design so horrible I should have done more to it. Um, but yeah, I'm like that, like it's based off Megalodon that it's meant to be able, able to, to rival fight. Waylord in size. Yeah. Um, any other, just like, not evolutions or anything you'd like to see? Anything that's just, like, any animals? Something that you'd like to see based on? Um, I'd like to see some, maybe, bumblebee Pokemon. That'd be cool. Something that actually looks like a bee, kind of thing. Yeah, rather than, like, Vespaquen. Or a hun honeycomb. Thing. <laughs> Combi. Combi. But you kind of. I don't know. Um. I would like to see. Is there any Raven Pokemon? I honestly, at the top of my head, I cannot think of any. The only two that come close are Murkrow and Entrecry. Well, there are crows, though. I know, I know. Like I, would, I said, that comes close. I would like to see a raven Pokemon, but then it's like the only typing it could have would be like. Dark light. Yeah, I don't know. You could do something cool like Dark Psychic or something. I'd like to see a kangaroo Pokemon besides Breloom. And Kangaskhan. And Kangaskhan, wow. <laughs> uh, I'm <more>. ashamed. <laughs> you, did you say you feel ashamed? Yes. Because you didn't think That's of Kangaskhan. I, I forgot about Kangaskhan. I would like to see a proper um, praying mantis, not Scyther. 
Yeah, yeah, I want to see a proper praying mantis too. Because, uh, yeah, I get that he's a mantis, but a proper, proper one. One that, like, you know, a si yeah, like a stick insect. One that actually, like, yeah, Kecleon. The Gecleon. That was a cool ever. I did like that evolution. See, the problem um, is... is that, that's what they need to do. They need to make Kecleon evolve. The, the thing is, is that in any evolution I try and think of, it always ends up whatever normal typing it was, plus dragon. I know this is a really far-fetched idea and it would be terrible to make it work, but what No, if... no far-fetched evolutions. <laughs> Ridiculous. Ridiculous. That's the best name <laughs> ever. <laughs> um, but... You know how Eevee's genetic structure is all like... And it can like evolve into whatever it wants, depending? Yeah. What if Kecleon's color changeability played a role in how it evolves? What if what you if throw they, it off that it, big tower in the background? What? What? So what if you throw it off that big tower we see in the background and hopefully it turns into a flying type? If not, <laughs> well, I guess it would. <laughs> and feel sorry for that Kecleon. <laughs> well, no, I mean the Eevee. You throw the Eevee off the, um, <laughs> off the tower. It's just like, you know, you've got like a 50-50 chance of it evolving or not evolving. Or it evolves into like bloody... Would you like to ev would you would you like to throw Eevee off this tower? Yes or no? Press B. <laughs> that would be terrible. Why did I come up with that? <laughs> Throws it up against the evolve. Presses B. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe that'd actually be kind of cool. You know how you can battle Ducklet on the bridges and stuff. Yeah. If you could maybe battle something like that, maybe like a pigeon. Or well, not necessarily a pigeon, so we've got P Dove and Pidgey for that, but like a type of bird that just roosts up on top of the tower. I'm trying to think of There needs to be okay, I brought this up. There are no hawk Pokemon. Ah. Oh. Well, you've got eagles. An eagle. I guess maybe Staraptor's a hawk. Well yeah, I know. But I actually start up to more of an eagle. What's the st uh, what's the star from Star Raptor's name based on? Um, Starling, like a starling, like a starling bird. Like Brosif Starlin. No, not that Starlin. <laughs> you jealous because I be Starlin. <laughs> uh, Nuzlocke challenges. Every Starling I catch has to be called Brosif Starlin. But it doesn't fit. <laughs> or just Brosif then. <laughs> I did that in my pearl. No, platinum, I think it was. You'd be mad because I'm styling on you? Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, I don't know. I'd, yeah, like, I'd like to see a raven. I'd like to see... Well, not an amoeba, because we've kind of got, like, psilosis and stuff like that. Oh, I don't know. Um, I, I want to see, see more fruit. Fossil. Huh? More fruit. You want to see more fruit, like, rather than just Cherubi and Tropius? I'd like to see a banana Pokemon. Tropius? Do you know what I'd like to see? Tropius? D okay, it's something for the lols, yeah? <laughs> a Pokemon, one based on a banana and the other one an orange, who think that their soul... Um, was it Soul Rock and Lunatone, respectively? Yes, I like that idea. So obviously the banana thinks that it's a you know psychic what rock to be? type. Well, what? when my brother and I were talking about making like a fake region, this is completely off topic, but we were thinking about what we wanted for the starters. Yep. Well, I can't remember what we decided on for the grass starter. We decided on a giraffe for the fire starter. Yeah. Um, and for the water starter, we decided on an amphibious attack tiger. <laughs> the thing is, I keep saying That's that. I really got to stop saying that. But um, what was I going to say? 
we've come up with some terrible ideas for fake mon in the past, like the llama, but instead of uh, legs, it had stilts. And... Tom, you came up with that oh, idea. Okay, I came up with some terrible fake one, and then instead <laughs> of like fur, it was straw, so it was like a grass type on stilts. I don't know why I thought that was a good idea. I don't know why either, Tom. I don't know why either. Actually, I would kind of like to see a far-fetched evolution. A far-fetched evolution? Yeah. I don't know, because loads of people, whenever you see one, it's normally based on like a samurai or something, but since mm -hmm. it's Europe, it could turn into, you know, a knight or something. I would like to see a quillfish evolution. What could it evolve into, though? A big old lionfish. A bigger quillfish. <laughs> no, like, um... Quillfish is obviously based off a of puffer fish, which is poisonous. There's but another fish King called the based... lionfish, scorpion fish, whatever you want to call it, which is also poisonous. Sea King. What's Sea King based off of? Sea King's based off a of goldfish. Oh. Isn't Goldeen based off a of goldfish? They're both based off goldfish. Oh, right? that kind of sucks. Alright, yep, continue about the lionfish. Um, the lionfish is sometimes called a scorpion fish, and I can't remember its other name, but it's poisonous as well. Um, or maybe it could evolve into like a stonefish. Oh, that'd be cool. Um, if not, creepy, if not evolve it into that, evolve it into a lionfish, but also have a stonefish Pokemon. I think yeah. that would be cool. Um, I can't remember other ideas I was having. A lot of water Pokemon. I want to see a lot of water Pokemon. What do you reckon they'll do for the cat? Because normally there's like you know a regional cat. So. Yeah, except for um, Generation Two. Yeah, but they kind of use me out. Okay. Yeah. But, um, yeah. I mean, like, per normally they're normal, but Perline was dark, so... And Shinx was electric. Oh, yeah, good point. I didn't ever really think of that as a regional cat. I just kind of thought it was, like, the regional... Lion. Or kind of... Lion. Yeah, yeah. Electric type. Then I guess that'd be Pachirisu. It's the yeah. Pikachu thing. And then... Yeah, well, Pachirisu is the electric novelty. Yeah. And Emolga was the electric novelty. Oh, God, we're going to see another electric novelty. Oh, yeah. No, come on, Emolga. You cannot okay. beat that. Yeah, that no, picture no, of you it can't from the anime. That picture of it from the anime when it's holding the apple, you cannot beat that picture. I could beat that picture. Probably. I would tear it up and set it on fire. No, I'm kidding. I like them all. So, uh, uh... Yeah. I'm trying to think of what we could see as, like, the... The cat. Novelty electric type. I don't know. What... Cat. Oh, yeah, because I was still thinking of what could be the cat. I don't know. Uh, um... I honestly don't know. I want to see Zigzagoon in the decks. Isn't Zigzagoon already? Isn't it being attacked? That's a patch rat. I swear I saw a Zigzagoon on somewhere. I might just be imagining stuff, sorry. You're imagining things, Tom. Probably. The the Go home, Tom, you're tired. <laughs> I am home, though. <laughs> <laughs> I would be able to record this if I wasn't. Um, okay, well, I guess... We could come up with some other ideas in the week or whenever we next do our thing and write them down. What about the evil team? Any evil ideas? Team. I mean, what have we had so far? We've had the Mafia, uh. more of the Mafia, then we had trying to get more land or more water, or more land and water, then we trying had... Trying to expand, like, space and time and control it completely rewrite the universe then we had separate Pokemon and humans I think we will have destroy the internet and make laws harsher <laughs> Sopa yep Sopa and Piper Piper I don't know Pippa I don't know Pippa I don't remember what it's called either Sopa Sopa Popa Sopa Popa anyway so, Hello. no, but seriously, any ideas? Um, might be based off the Death Eaters from Harry Potter. 
Why would it be based off the Death Eaters from Harry Potter? Because if it's Europe, then it might be English, and we might see Harry Potter. That's not very sound reasoning there, since Harry Potter takes place in, like, the early 90s, from what I know. Yep. Okay, that wasn't leading anywhere. <laughs> okay, then. Do you think we'll have a Voldemort-like leader? I don't know. I don't know. I'd like to see a female leader. All the leaders so far have been male, so... I'm... Oh, there's another thing. What? What if... What about the professor? No. What's Professor Ash? Yeah, what do you reckon they'll go with for the professor? Um, I think it's going to be male again. Yeah, probably. Um, I honestly think we'll have, like, Professor Galileo. Um, you know, what trees do we have? We've got Hewen, Eucalyptus, Gum. Professor Pine. Actually... Professor Pone? I said Pine. Pone. Professor Pone, okay. Well, yeah. aren't pine trees from Europe anyway? I don't know, dude. You know, I don't know. I'm just associating Canada with pine trees and then, you know... Canada's attached to America! Yeah, I know, but French people made Canada from what yeah, I know. Yeah. I don't know it, that, actually. Citation what if needed. Greenland is in the region? Sorry? What if Greenland is in the region? Oh, that would be kind of cool. Greenland shark! Greenland's cut. That would actually be kind of cool. That would be nice to go to after, or like somewhere like Spain. Kind of like the um, Battle Frontier kind of dealio, the whole battle. Yeah. It's not called. What is that island called with like the battle zone and stuff on it? Or oh, I just called the battle zone. That's what yeah. I just called it. That's what I well, said. yeah. What if uh, the battle zone is like Greenland or something? Yeah, that'd be cool. Do you know what actually bothers me now that I think about it? What? Um, in uh, fourth generation, the third installment for uh, Diamond and Pearl was, um, and it got colder. Yep. Black and White got colder for Black and White 2 because in the character art, you see them wearing thermals. Yeah. Why does it have to get cold? Why can't it get searing hot? Well, it could. Well, it should. I don't know. Maybe they might do something with that. No, I honestly think it's going to be raining all the time. Why do you think... Because uh, it's Europe? Yes. But not all of Europe rains, just England. But England does. Feeding the stereotypes. <laughs> <laughs> you were feeding the stereotypes last episode. His name better be Pierre, I swear to God, if it's not. I'd like to see an Australian hat. <laughs> what did you say the other day? What did you say his name should be? Oh, Hilberto. <laughs> you said Hilberto. <laughs> his name better not be Hilberto. That was a terrible name. Come on, what are you doing, Nintendo? Hilbert well, and Hilda. It makes sense as why Anne decided to have you know be friends with Hilbert and Hilda because they had weird names like he did. <laughs> My name is Natural Harmonia Gropius. What's your name? Hilbert. Hilberto. <laughs> <laughs> Hilberto and her, uh, Hilda. <laughs> Gerda. Sorry, I'm just looking at the Skype conversation. <laughs> where I've typed them in. Um... So yeah, kind of looking forward to meeting Hilberto or Pierre. I don't know why I picked the name Pierre. It just seems Pablo Picasso. Pablo, why Pablo? Wasn't it? No, he's Italian. Is Pablo? Is Picasso Italian? I'm pretty sure he is. Okay, citation. never mind. Don't listen to me. Anything we say is going to need citation. We don't know what we're talking about. Yeah, we're just kind of. Talking off the top of our heads right now. Um, okay, so we don't also don't know what the evil team's going to be like. We don't know what the professor's going to be like. Innovations <laughs> to game mechanics. We need to see... Obviously, we're going to see maybe an ice type. 
I think we're going to see an ice type gym leader or something, because there always is. Yep. Uh, what was that other type that we always see? Was it... Not dark. We could get a dark gym leader, that'd be nice. I'd like a dark gym leader. It but doesn't... I think we're going to see. I'm guessing psychic or poison for that the one uh, by the room. That's another type. Uh, ghost is in every direct in, in direction. Yes. In every, every direction. direction. All of the directions. But um, I'm thinking that one where the room materializes around a female character, I'm thinking that's going to be like, either it's going to be like a ninja gym like Koga, or it's going to be a psychic gym. Oh, we see a grass gym. Yeah, yeah, that's also one thing. I wonder if that... Oh, oh, here's something. Do you reckon they'll continue on with like black and white with the theme of each gym being different, or they'll go back to be being just a standard gym building. Every gym being different. Yeah. Um. Also, uh, we I guess we know that there's going to be a fire elite four member. How do we know that? Oh, because, because the big that room right there. at the end looks like it might be in the Pokemon League. It could possibly be somewhere. It could be like a hint to something, though. It could be a hint to you, but either to how do you say his name? Evelto. Evelto. Yeah, or because the, the 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 pronunciation like pinpoint like the point that's meant to be like pronounced the hardest is the vel. So it's not just Evelto. It's Evelto. Yeah. And it's Xerneas. Um. Okay, what type of... Oh, well, no, that kind of covers that. And I was about to say, what type of badges would you reckon? What type of moves? Is there any moves that you'd like to see? I don't know, maybe some more priority? I would like to see some more f um, fighting moves that are special and not physical. Yeah, besides just back in my open aura sphere. Yeah, <laughs> and... Oh, Focus Blast. Yeah, but Focus Blast has got like a 70% hit rate. Yeah. And it's just kind of crap. I honestly think we need a one other move, kind of like Sucker Punch. What would it be? Oh, I don't know. Pimp Slap. Did you say Pimp Slap? No. Oh. What did you say? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you did say Pimp Slap, didn't you? I did. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Only Honchko can learn it, though. Yeah. Yeah. That, I like that. Um, yeah, but then he has access to Sucker Punch and Pimp Snap. That just shows that's why he's, you know, the that's Mafia why. Don. Um, okay. Better than Giovanni. <laughs> um, yeah. So, but, okay, okay, now I have a question. Yeah? Team Rocket is based off the Mafia, yes? Yeah. Or I think like Japan. It. Because Japan has a Mafia as well, the Triad. Yeah, but the Amish have a Mafia too. The Amish. The Amish. Why would the Amish need a Mafia? Oh, don't ask me. We were watching television the other day and an ad comes up for the Amish Mafia. Okay, that's a bit... There's also a show on people making moonshine. Cool. But making moonshine is illegal. But you live in Texas, so... No offense to anyone who also lives in Texas. I'm not sure if I could actually mention that. I'm sorry. I'm not allowed no, to. Okay. You're a Brit living in Australia. I know, right? That's why I'm called Tom the Palm. Um, what you doing? <laughs> um, I don't... I was going to say something. I don't remember what it was. We've nearly been going for 45 minutes. Do you remember said. that time when I told Joss I was going to eat him in the German voice? Do we have to bring that up in this video, Mitch? Man, all the stereotypes today. Um, <laughs> if this video doesn't get flagged for psych, I will honestly be surprised. But we know we're not being serious. I know, right? But does he but that, know we're not well, being serious? After I said that we know we're not being serious, then everyone else should know that we're not being serious. Yeah, but the thing is, we've said that like 45 minutes into the video. We're serious about the speculation, we're not serious about the stereotypes. <laughs> we're serious about things, we're not serious about other things, we're not sure what those things are though. Okay, so I still think we're going to see eight gems, you won't like, I don't think there's going to be like this, you decide to go this way or this way, 
you decide what badges you want, I think they're just going to be set in stone. Yeah. Elite Four, I think we're going to have the choice of who to battle with the Elite Four again. Yep. Um, I don't remember what else. Do you know what kind of gets me, actually, though? What? Okay, so assuming that this region is probably somewhere in between, like, Kanto and all those places, and Unova, mm -hmm. why is there, like, why do they make it such a big thing that there, like, are no Unova Pokemon outside of Unova, but obviously now there are? I guess they wanted to try something different. Yeah, I mean, the problem the, the problem would have been is that they would always need to play, make somewhere or a place further and further away. Yeah. Wait, no, that might be what happens because we see Route 3. Oh, yeah, good point. It actually might be th further away because, I mean, if it's set it's out only of only that, like that is close. Um, were the first four generations. Yeah. Because, obviously, they're all based off well, regions in Japan. But yeah. then it changed when Unova was made, because it's obviously based off America. Well, that's what I'm trying to say, and I, I'm I'm assuming it's going it's somewhere in between Yeah. those two continents, or whatever they're on. Yeah. If it's one big continent, I don't know. But, um... Yeah. But maybe I mean if it is set after um Wasamajiggy, after um Black and White Two, there is every chance that it's it could be based even further away from yeah. um Kanto and all that and like you know, past Unova and that would explain why there's Unova Pokemon there, there's older Pokemon there. And there's new Pokemon. Yeah. But then, assuming that this place sudden, suddenly hasn't had just like a huge flow of, you know, the older Pokemon, that would make it a bit strange. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. Also, I don't think we'll be seeing any new types. Yeah, I kind of hope we don't. I mean... If they haven't done it this far in, why should they do it now? Yeah, but then... Well, everyone thought that there was going to be a light type because of Reshiram. Well, the Pokemon trading card game, if that's anything to do with it, they've just introduced dragon types. But we've already got dragon in the game, so... Yeah, I, kn I know we've already got dragon in the game, but, like, you know, I guess that kind of shows it's never too late to introduce a new mechanic. If... But and then they don't have a dragon type energy. Yeah, good point. If, just saying... If they do introduce a new type, what would you want it to be? Not light. What what other could there be? Space. Oh, that that's the thing. What other could there be? I always see like sound, but then like magneton is already yeah. electric steel. What? And, but then you get like stuff like Whismer and. Oh god, but change them to normal sound? Yeah, it seems a bit... Sounds not... And then um, you'd have to go and change all the moves like Supersonic, and Screech, yeah. and Growl, and all that crap. I, you know what I've honestly started to think? What? What if Xerneas and Eveltol are the first unknown type legendaries? That would be kind of cool, but then there's no weaknesses to unknown. Not even unknown is weak to unknown. Yeah. As in what, typing. But what if one. that's the thing? What if... But we don't know if unknown is weak to unknown. Uh, I mean, like, unknown the Pokemon, get a, get a dark type, or unknown with hidden power dark. Oh my god. Then unknown would be good against unknown. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. man. Do that. A Nuzlocke challenge with just unknown. No, no, don't even say that. Yeah, dude, can... dude, dude, dude. My um, my Nuzlocke story. Yes. I'm still working on chapter four. I have an unknown. Oh really? But guess what letter it is. Guess. Uh, M. No, it's F. 
Guess Fire. what hidden power it has? Fighting. Fire. <laughs> what did you name it? Fabian. <laughs> I would just name it Fa. Fabio. No, just F U U U U U. No. Um, I had a an Abra in one of my playthroughs of Diamond Pearl, whatever. Um, that had hidden power fighting, which was kind of helpful because yeah. like it meant I could actually use it at the start of the game against Rock and. That that's what I was gonna say. I think we'll be seeing a rock type gym leader at the start again. Yeah, yeah. I they haven't done it in a long time, and I think they need to bring it back. They haven't done it for one generation. Two. What rock I'm... had? Sorry, I forgot about rock. I was I was counting black and white as one, and then black and white two is. Oh, okay. Number. Yeah, well, I guess that is two. Like. Yeah. Technically three if you want to count gold, count gold heart, gold silver. I want to count gold heart, soul, silver soul. Silver soul. Silver side. Yeah. I think this might be a good place to finish up for this week. Or this I think video. so too. If, if people can watch this far in, then we've got some dedicated viewers. Yeah, well the last one at the time of recording has something like 45, 44, yeah. like right now. I said it before, I don't remember. Yeah. But well, I'm... to those people who have come in on this one, go watch the first one. Yeah, and don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, because... Yeah. We love you, and that would be amazing if you did. Also, if... Ooh, I have a question. As love is in a friend kind of way, not as in like a weird stalker kind of way. Was that to what I just said to you? What? I have a question. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, what is your question? Are we putting music in the back of this? Yes, music will be in the back of this. And okay. to give credit, it is Mitch's music. Well, it's... It's remixes. It was my... Yeah that Mitch has Mate. done and I'll you know credit his account with I'll put Pokemon themed ones yeah well yeah. I've got a do I have a plenty do you have answer a that plenty? question Tom do I have a plenty do you have a plenty do I have a plenty I don't know do you I don't know oh. I don't know if I have a plenty well that'd be the question <laughs> comment of the video do I have a, have a plenty? No. <laughs> the qu what? That question of the video, do I have a plenty? No. <laughs> just, that, that will be, just one guy is just going to be like, no. And that's, that's, that's the only comment we're going to get. But yeah, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And yes, the comment question of the video today will be, what are some of the things that you'd like to see in Generation 6? Be it Pokemon, um, ideas for legendaries, just anything that you would like to see in it. Just leave it in a comment and... Yeah, might maybe, mention the next video. Yeah, maybe we'll read them out, some of them. Um, yeah, and if there's any topics you uh, would like us to talk about or think we should talk about that we haven't talked about already, yeah, um, leave it in a comment as well. So, yeah, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And thank you for joining us today, Mitch. Thank you. And uh, we'll see you next time on... Uh, what, what are we calling this series? All men Mitch's... Pokemon X and Pokemon Y speculation. What he said. What I said. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bye. Bye.